This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Now since this is the eSIM only version, there is no SIM tray to be removed. So to start off, there are two pentalobe screws which need to be removed. Next, we'll need to apply heat to the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we'll need to use a suction cup tool to help us lift up the screen and get a pry tool in between the screen and the frame of the phone. At which point, we'll run the pry tool along the edges of the screen to pry off the adhesive. Once the screen is free from the frame, it can be lifted up from the right to the left. There are eight tri-point or tri-wing screws which need to be removed. Now the metal plate over the connectors can be removed. There's some graphite film and graphite pads on this metal plate to help transfer heat. And there's a liquid damage indicator sticker which is that white sticker over there. Here's a look at the other side. The battery cable can now be disconnected. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can proceed to disconnect the screen cables. There's some more graphite film on the back of the screen to help transfer heat. There are two Phillips screws on top holding down the cover that needs to be removed. Now the metal cover can be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at the proximity and ambient light sensor. When it comes to removing the battery, there are adhesive pull tabs on the top and bottom to help you pry the battery off. When it comes to these type of adhesive pull tabs, I really hate them. They almost always tear. So I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply some to the edges of the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the 4,323 milliamp hour battery. There are five more tri-tip or tri-wing screws and three Phillips screws on top which need to be removed. Now the metal plate or cover over the camera assembly can be lifted up and removed. Then the cables for the cameras can be disconnected from the main board. The camera assembly can now be removed. There's a 48 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto. The telephoto and main camera both have OIS or optical image stabilization. There is a single standoff screw which is holding on this cover which needs to be removed. The LiDAR scanner can now be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at that. There's another standoff screw which is covering this metal plate that needs to be removed. The secondary microphone is now revealed. Here's a better look at the earpiece speaker. And there's a rubber gasket around the opening on top. The face ID and front facing camera assembly can now be lifted up and removed. There are four more tri-tip or tri-wing screws on top which need to be removed. This flex cable leads to the LED flash diffuser as well as some antenna contact points and this microphone. Here's a better look at the other microphone. Now there are two more standoff screws, a tri-wing or tri-tip screw, and a Phillips screw on the top left corner which need to be removed. On the top right of the motherboard there's a standoff screw, and on the top left there's a tri-tip or tri-wing screw which need to be removed. There's one more standoff screw on the bottom left side of the motherboard which needs to be removed. There are three Phillips screws on the side of the frame which need to be removed. This flex cable can now be disconnected from the millimeter wave 5G antenna.
Now finally the motherboard can be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at the dual layer motherboard. On this side of the motherboard, there's some graphite film over the shields to help transfer heat. Here's a better look with the graphite film peeled off. On the back, there's another 5G millimeter wave antenna and some more thick graphite padding to help transfer heat. Here's a better look with the graphite pad peeled back. This looks to be another antenna assembly. There are two more tri-tip or tri-wing screws on the top left of the phone, which are holding on this antenna flex cable assembly, and they're screwed into the side of the frame. Once those are removed, this flex cable can be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at that. There are three Phillips screws which are holding this flex cable to the frame that need to be removed. There's also another tri-tip or tri-wing screw which needs to be removed. Now this flex cable can be removed. Here's a better look at this cable. Now moving to the bottom of the phone, there are 9 Phillips screws which need to be removed. The speaker assembly can now be removed. Here's a better look at that. There's a mesh filter and rubber gasket over the opening. There's a standoff screw holding on the Taptic engine that needs to be removed. Now the flex cable can be disconnected. Here's a better look at that. There are three more standoff screws which need to be removed. Now this bottom cover can be lifted up and removed. At this point, there's a standoff screw, four tri-tip or tri-wing screws, and three Phillips screws which need to be removed. The charger port can be lifted up and removed. The charger port and lightning port is located here, as well as some antenna assemblies, and two more microphones. One's located here, and one's located here. This flex cable is connected to the buttons on either side, as well as the MagSafe or wireless charger. If you need to replace those, you'd have to remove the two Phillips screws on this side, and the three Phillips screws on the other side, and then you'd have to peel off and remove this entire piece. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, power on the phone and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.